Hi everyone, Vanessa from Apple Patch, and it's week five of our mystery quilt sew along. This week we have block nine, which is a what I call a rail fence block. So it's still a nine patch, and we have block ten, which is a double nine patch block because you can never have too many nine patches. So you'll notice. There are no half square triangles. It's a half square triangle free zone this week. You'll probably see them again next week, but this week we're just squares and rectangles. So in the instructions for the rail fence, I talk about the option of using strip piecing and cross cutting, but also just take a good step back and double check that your measurements are coming out correct with your scant quarter inch seams because we're starting to use quite small pieces of fabric and if your quarter inches are out just a little bit then your blocks are going to end up probably undersized because the more seams every time one of those seams is just a smidge big out it all adds up so when, if you're going to use strip piecing for making these blocks, sew your strips together, press them, and double check the width. Double check that it is coming out to being three and a half inches for the rail fence. If not, and the, and the three and a half inches all the way along. If not, unpick and re-sew because you don't want to Cross cut them all, start to sew the units together and then realise some of them are actually a little bit too skinny or maybe a little bit too wide. So take the time, double check your widths and make sure that you're actually sewing a scant quarter inch. Now the other thing to be aware of when you're checking the size of your blocks, the more seams in a block the more it's going to pull in a little bit when it's just sitting there relaxed. So if I was to put my ruler over the top of one of my box, I'm obviously looking for them to be the correct size. But sometimes the seams are actually pulling in just a little bit especially when you press to the side and I can see for instance I know you probably won't be able to but I can see for instance that this corner here is actually a little bit shy of nine and a half inches and that's because the fabric underneath is kind of contracting in a little bit where the seams are if I take it out from underneath the ruler and just put a little bit of tension on the block so I'm just making sure those seams then are kind of open I can double check that my block is actually nine and a half inches it's just where it all kind of wants to pull in a little bit so with this block the rail fence I have pressed um, these seams open but then I've pressed the side for my major seams because on my tilde blocks all my major seams are press, getting pressed to the side so again I can lay that on top of my ruler and just put a little bit of tension on it and double check that it's going to make nine and a half inches and that's fine so just remember, when you put it under the ruler, sometimes those seams can kind of pull the fabric in just a little bit and it's not really sitting flat under the ruler. So, hope you have fun making these blocks. You're going to be seeing this video a little bit early and you're probably going to get your patterns a little bit early, i.e. Saturday night because Sunday I'm still moving house and I think we're going to need the full day to get everything else moved that we need to move. 
So you get a little bit of a head start if you want on this. Have fun. Bye.